Claire uh, Redfield, fixed face. <laughs> <laughs> she needed that one though. I, I swear to God, it's like it's not like the model. It's not like the actual model herself. It's, I think it's just, I like, maybe it's the way like her like, from below the nose slopes in. It just goes in the uncanny valley. Something about her is very off. Yeah. Like I don't and know Leon what it is. Have that issue. No, no. Neither do any any other uh, any other characters really, like in any Ari, like. In their remakes. Dude, Claire was the fucking first attempt. That was the first 3D model the, the team had ever made. And then they were like, oh, wait. Wait, we can make this. Wait, we. Wait, nah. something's wrong. <laughs> no, let's not fix her. Just ship it. It's fine. Yeah, thankfully they got pretty much everybody else, right? Yeah. Claire is fucking weird, though. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, Claire f face fix mod, but then also <laughs> give her fat boobies. Yeah, Claire Glasses mod. The Claire Glasses mod is so funny, only because like that's real shit that people care about. Yeah. Oh my god. And you know what? If you use those mods, like, go for it. Go for I will it. say, if you're making <laughs> videos on it, and you have to like censor parts of it, may may maybe take the mod off. <laughs> Dude, every I'm not single- call I'm not calling anybody out. No, I'm calling people sometimes out. I, Dude. Sometimes I just want to watch a video. And when I see that like, you have to censor the character, it's like, come on, man. Every single time I get into a game, I I go through this fucking phase where I'm like, I wonder if people are playing it right now at the same time I am. So I go onto YouTube and I like, I I am like, all right, let's play of this game uh, this week. Every single fucking Resident Evil 2 let's play is either some dude who's never touched a controller before in his life. Or it's it's someone who has the the biggest fucking tits mod on they could possibly find, no. and it's so unbelievable to me that people could put themselves out on the internet like that. Dude, like, and it's important too because it's the type of game where I genuinely do want to see people play it for the first time. Exactly, there's a lot of stuff that's like really funny, but like, oh my god, sometimes you just gotta you that's just it. gotta like, I I, I just don't want to see it, dude. I just don't want to see it. Did I not get a checkpoint this entire time? I think I might be stupid. This is very embarrassing. <laughs> um, it's okay, more, more, more RE talk. But yeah, no, like actually, it's it's fucking insane to me how many big tip mods there are. It just doesn't make sense. Cause like I, all right, I guess it makes a little bit of sense because people are probably like, you know, that weird association people have with horror and 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 porn. I think it's that. Yeah, I mean, I guess the taboo aspect of it. May yeah, that would make Maybe, sense. I don't know. But, I don't the know, man. The thing about, like, that is, like, it's also, like, real models. Yeah. 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 Like, I just be, I just feel, uncom I, like, I mean, and, like, I don't know. I think just, just as me personally. I just I don't feel like I'd be super comfortable with A because like I mean look, I I, I get the Yoko Taro saying if I'm looking at something might as well be nice. But I mean I don't know. But he made a fucking game. What are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> he made like, a game. He's oh, allowed to God. say that. Wait, and, so yeah, it's also like yeah, these are like, you know, they're modeled after real people. Yeah. And seeing the process that they do that is really cool. But you know. Did Claire did her model just look like that then? I don't know. I don't think her model looks like that. <laughs> I, she I just built like that, bro? Oh my god. But no, yeah, like, I don't know. It's, it, it's a weird vibe. I don't I don't like it. It gets into that, like, whole, uh, like, I guess it, that that's a topical thing, the deep fake porn. It's kind oh of similar god. to that in which, in which, like, you're making porn of somebody who probably doesn't consent to it. But yeah. then it's like, oh, it's the character, but it's like, yeah, but it's the character is modeled after a person. It's it's really strange, and I I wonder when there is going to be some form of restriction on it because there's going to be. I there, yeah, I God, please hope I hope so. Yeah, because it's I'd be absolutely awful that people just existing online uh, get that that type of shit happens. Dude, who was that one streamer that got fucking canceled? You know what I'm talking Patriarch. about, right? Yeah. 
him. Yeah. That's weird shit. That really makes me. Oh cool. yeah, because he was doing it to his friends, and he exactly. Was like, I was curious. Okay. I, I clicked on an advertisement. Yeah. Okay. There's so much wrong with that. Why are you looking at it? Your Why does it oh, exist? Is a big one. Tails uh, is a fucking brainlit. Actually, can you stop? You fucking idiot! Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, don't look at horny your friends. Yeah. We can move on now. Death Egg Zone. Um, I don't know. It's it's fine. I mean, it's a good culmination. I feel like this is what the difficulty should be like at the at the point that we're at, technically in the the oh, three yeah. and Knuckles section. I feel like Sonic and Knuckles is generally much harder if you're playing it as a single like standalone experience. Um, I agree. But I think I would definitely say the second second half of Sonic Three Knuckles is. A little, a little harder than the first. Yeah, for sure. Um, Jesus Christ, bro. This time for sure. This time for sure. Right. This time for sure. This, <laughs> this time for sure. This time for sure. This time for sure. Thank fucking hey, Christ, man. bro. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, man. I don't like. It's harder. It's weird looking at these games separately, and they're not meant to be looked at separately, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Like... I don't know. Mushroom Hill has always been kind of this, like, weird... This weird area for me, where it feels like a first zone in a yeah. Sonic game. And then you get Sky... Uh, you get Flying Battery, and then everything past that point. And it's just a really weird spike in difficulty. Yeah. Um... You I think Mushroom Hill is like that. It's it's harder than Angel Island for sure, mm -hmm. but like it still it does have that vibe of like first zone. It's not too bad. I think something that actually did kind of fuck me up in uh, Sonic and Knuckles the first time I played it is mm -hmm. the spin dash shit where you get like caught in the caught in the things. I didn't know you had to spin dash for a hot minute. That was a little embarrassing. Do the you know when you get caught by the the little. The thingies when you oh, get shot up. Yeah. Those things, yeah. I mean, what else could you do? Cry. Sit there and cry. That's fair. I jumped a lot. And like, and if you don't spin dash right, you need to spin dash enough to make it work, but... I mean, uh, generally I'm like mashing the button whenever I'm doing it, so... I, I, well obviously now, but like, in the past I didn't used to do that shit. Can I just, can I just power through? No, okay. Nope. <laughs> I was yeah, hoping. Dude are brutal the second one is kind of just not fun but uh that's fair that's the anti-gravity one right yep it's just it's been a hot minute i haven't actually played dude when's the last time i played through this in, in its entirety because every single time like when usually when i sit down and play through sonic 3 it's when i'm bored as fuck one night so you ellie usually see me play through sonic 3 yeah um but I, I always stop. I don't know. I don't I don't think the and knuckles portion is worse or like less fun. Mm -hmm. But I something about it feels I'll slightly it. less replayable. I You'll think it's a little less fun. You think so? It's, not a, it's like I don't know. It's like this level in Mario World was less fun than this level. It's like it's all good. Yeah, I'm trying Just, to place like game design wise why I think it's less fun. Holy fuck. It's just it's harder. You have to keep your brain on. Probably. I guess so. Holy fuck. Can bro chill out for like five seconds? Jesus Christ. That was actually wild. Yeah. Um, no, I, yeah. No, I think it's just like you have to pay more attention to what you're doing. I think. I don't know. I don't. I feel like it. It's probably just like a lot of these zones have more intensive platforming rather than just straight uh, like speed sections. That that's fair. Yeah, that's like really yeah. Fair. There's really not many speed sections in um. Like there are in Mushroom Hill, but like after that, you're kind of done. Flying battery. Flying battery more so. Yeah, uh, I guess it was designed with three's uh, principles. Um, yeah. Or, or three first half. Um, like lava reef. Yeah, Lava Reef is pretty slow. I I don't think I actually do enjoy Lava Reef a lot, uh, but it is much slower. But I think a lot of the platforming 
I don't know, it's it's one of the few slow like zones in a classic Sonic game that I don't really dislike. Um, and I don't know why. Something about the platform just feels better than like you know, the the, the usual go to like labyrinth zone, like what what the fuck? You know, how do they design this shit to be so slow and trash? Because uh, Labyrinth Zone is just bad. Well, yeah. So it's a water level, and it's slow, and it's kind of weirdly confusing, and platforming is annoying. Yeah. The Marvel Zone, and it's like... Well, Marvel Zone is also just the initial whiplash, too, but it's also like the platforming is kind of annoying, and then... I actually don't... Marble Zone's whatever. I think if you know what you're doing, you can have a pretty good time there, but the issue is you have to know what you're doing. I, even when you know what you're doing, I think it's still just not fun. Really? That's... Mm -hmm. I, I... I don't know. Because I don't think it's really fun either. I'm not going to sit here and, like, defend it uh, super hard. But something about it feels... It feels less egregious in a way. Is, I guess, the best way of putting it. And I don't in know why. Well, yeah, obviously in Labyrinth Zone. But, like, it doesn't feel as bad as a lot of other slower areas in Sonic 1. Like, um, the final zone in Sonic 1 isn't super, like, that's just kind of not fun. Well, yeah, no, that's pain. No, it's the, it's the, le it's the best of a bad batch, if I'm gonna be honest. I think that's the best way to put it, yeah. Nah, because I agree, like, it's, of the slow zones in that game, it's probably the best one. Yeah. I, I feel like that's one of the ones I can power through and, like, still kind of enjoy myself remotely. You can get to Spring Yard, which is a lot of, like, speed stuff, and that, that yeah. one's fun. I think uh, there's a lot of bouncing in that one. <laughs> I, I, I've i gone on record multiple times saying I don't like Sonic bouncy shit, which is why I actually don't like Casino Night that much. I don't like Casino Night either, but... Okay. <clears throat> um, I think it's just because a lot of the... the it's... I don't know. I, just, I don't like Sonic Casino levels. I agree. I feel the exact same way. Even though I really like, um, what is, what is that ice called? It's not Quartz Quadrant, it's, um... Oh, oh god, I don't know the CD. All, all I know in CD is Palm Tree Panic. Panic. And then... Tidal Tempest. Collision Chaos. Quartz Quadrant. Collision Chaos, yeah. yeah. No, I, I fuck with Collision Chaos. I actually, oh... I don't, I don't I like Collision really Chaos. Fun. The music I, is great. Okay. And it's not the aggressively casino. It's and you can usually you can usually if you bounce if you bounce well enough is not a good <sighs> sentence. If you if 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 you're usually really smart about it, you can get around most of the casino stuff. And even with the casino stuff, there's like it's not this annoying shit of like you have to funnel your way down this annoying thing. I'm there's like two sections. There's exactly two sections that are like that in each act. Uh, but both is like oh you just power through bubbles to get to like an exit. Um, other than that, it's like you you don't have to funnel down the thing. You just have to uh, like bounce across a place. And if you miss it, then you just go to the lower path. Yeah, which I think is cool. Oh, I forgot this fucking boss. This is trash. Yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> boss is not fun. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we have Doomsday Zone soon, so that one's fun. That one's so cool. That one is really cool. So I'm not I'm not complaining that much to be honest. All right, this is the one. I lied. I forgot how long that animation fucking takes. Dude, really? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This box is super fun. You stand here I and you it. keep walking in back and forth, back and forth. It's been so long since I played this shit. Holy crap. I what? replayed a little bit of it because I was testing mods for air. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I... I don't know. I'm trying to think of the last time I played through this game in full. I think it was like maybe two years ago. Damn. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Either it's I'm kind of I'm think I'm off on that by a year or so, but I don't know for sure. I I tend to bl like if I turn on like a Sonic game. Usually usually if it's either three or CD, I'm probably going to finish it because you can be okay. Maybe not this. So you can beat CD in an hour. Oh, absolutely. Oh. This is more of a, like a two-hour long thing. You have to be, you have to be deep in it to yeah. to actually like finish this game in one setting. Yeah. But like, CD easily. 
Under an hour yeah. for sure. Like you can Under do an it. hour. Sonic. The issue is that I don't. There is no zone in CD that I aggressively hate. Whereas in Sonic 2, I have to. It's like the thought of like touching Metropolis. Uh, that's that's fair. I think. Honestly, I've probably played through CD more times than I've played through Sonic 2. I definitely have. I feel like there was a point in time where, like, I'd be like, I just want to play it for a little bit, like, every few days, and then I'd beat it. Yeah. And that's fair. Um, but something about Sonic 2 still feels like a more solid experience than, than Sonic CD to me. I don't know why. Hot take. Wow. Wow, hot Dude, take for that. sure. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, like, Scott the Waz right now. He made a video about Sonic CD. And I was like, what do you know about Sonic the Hedgehog, you fucking Nintendo YouTuber? Get off my YouTube timeline! I'm kidding. I have no ill will towards Scott the Waz. Did you watch I... the video? No. <laughs> I didn't watch it either. I saw it and I was like... You saw it? Yeah. No, I didn't watch no. that shit. I just... If I'm gonna look for Sonic opinions, I don't think I'm gonna go to Scott the Waz. And that's not like... I don't, that's not meant to be like, ah, oh, you know, let's talk shit about, about good old Nintendo YouTuber Scott the Waz. Like, he's, he's one of the normal ones, to be fair. Yeah. But like, oh! I watch his second channel a lot, so Scott really? Stash. Uh, cause he just goes over, cause I mean, he's a game collector, so he just goes yeah. over, like, the stuff he has. That's really cool. I vibe with that shit. I'm mm -hmm. very into the collecting aspect of... I, I think I'm gonna do something illegal here. Uh, I see you. I see. I, I think, see you. I, I see think, you. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna play the game as intended. Uh, this boss isn't that hard. It's not. It's really not. <laughs> but oh, good. I just. I don't wanna. I don't wanna fuck with it. Actually, this is how. I think I'm pretty sure. Last time I beat this game, I also save stated here. Uh. Cause I'm just so good at Sonic games, dude. Yeah, back that's, when that's just how it is with some. We're going. Yeah, no, you were saying that's how it is with. That was a. This was a new conversation. Go for it. I'm what were you saying? It. No. Just fucking take the take the mic. Go, Ellie. Oh my God, you you know I'm not gonna go. No Actually, and. God damn it! Fuck. Um. Yeah. Okay, no, I what I was it. saying, yeah. fine, what I was saying, what I was saying, I, uh, used to be really good at Sonic, um, when Mania was coming out, cause I fucking sat on, that never happened, I, I sat down and played Sonic for so long, every day of my life, mm -hmm. and it was a great time, now go, this is my yes uh, and moment. Okay, so, I think a big thing, first of all, that's very relatable when you play through something like a lot it's like you you just kind of like end up like getting like weirdly good skills then it's like i'm never gonna use these skills for anything <laughs> exactly like, when you're playing this game like i couldn't sleep last night so i just turned on uh i signed out of the steam friends thing and turned on re4 nobody would be like what are you doing at 4 a.m none of your business <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, um, bro. If yeah, they're like, no. I see you. It's like you're also up at four. What's what's the? Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you complaining about? I can't go to sleep. Why are you here? Zerking off, I see. But whoa, anyways. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's like you ever like find like I found like a like a, like oh I like this guy. He's kind of like well spoken. I wonder what other videos he's made. Oh, he's made a Sonic video. And it's the worst fucking Sonic take you've ever heard. Oh, absolutely. Sonic, That's... Advent Sonic Adventure is like one of the worst 3D games I've ever played. Play more. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong load state. But no, like actually, it's such a... I don't know, Sonic is such a polarizing thing. Because you either love it or you fucking hate it. And like, I don't know. I want to I wanna talk about that in my own but like... I don't know. I feel like it's... There's stuff about, like, especially, like, the newer right. ports that have, like, ad absolutely are glitchier than the original release, like Adventure DX. But, yeah. like... I, 
it's like I feel like a lot of its issues are blown way out of proportion. Oh, absolutely. Like, well, Sonic's story is the only fun one. Uh, Tails is fun. Knuckles is fun. Gamma is fun. Big isn't actually that hard, despite what the funny grump episode was. And Amy's is not fun, I agree, but I think the majority <laughs> of the game is really fun. That's actually really interesting to me, because from what I've seen, a decent amount of people actually enjoy Amy's story. And this is like, only for me looking looking inward, because I actually, I've never completed Adventure. But... I'm never a 13 year old annoying ass Sonic fan. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably. <laughs> like, real talk. Um... But yeah, man, I don't know. I think... I also think a lot of people have this weird, like, cognitive dissonance as to, like, why some of these issues may be, like... Why some of these issues may have been caused. And, like, the difficulties in creating a Sonic game c compared to, like, making a Mario game. This you is gonna be... Make a massive left. This is gonna be, like, kind of... I don't know. A, a little out of left field. A little, like... I don't know. A weird... A weird conversation shift. But, like... Mario versus Sonic. Okay. Probably. Hear me out. Sonic is multiversal, so... <laughs> he, he would fucking win. No, like, <laughs> it's a very different experience, and, like, for creating games for either platformer, it's a very different experience, both creating and playing those games, which is yeah. why I find it so weird that so many people still fucking compare them, despite the fact that they're, oh, yeah. like, not even in the same league anymore. Like, like chill, bruh. But... Sonic and like the the fact that he's a speedy character inherently makes it more difficult to make a game where he's not gonna fucking clip through every single thing known to man. Oh yeah. So when people are like, oh my god, he clips through all of and this it stuff, a, it's like, bro. <laughs> it was a launch title for the Dreamcast. Exactly. The fact that they actually got that, got it working in a state like it is, which is completely fucking functional, despite yeah. what the internet might tell you. Um, at least if you're playing the. No, DX is rough, man. <laughs> I remember seeing a lot of people giving, um, because I mean, I think the Grumps playthroughs when we like, that was like a big one where people were like, why is the game just built like that? Sonic fans defend this and it's like, okay, let's, 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 let's keep it real. I ran into a lot of the same issues playing DX for the first time. Playing the original though, or like playing, um, playing like the, like a Steam port modded back to the adventure, uh, or like having the Dreamcast version. Yeah. Like, uh, no, it's hella impressive what they did. Bro. I'm also about to run out of rings. I'm gonna run out of rings. Damn, bro. You should. My strategy is usually to stay back for a hot minute. Kind of. There we go. No. My, my <laughs> mentally ill mind has memorized where the ring locations are. So just kind of stay back, grind that ring till you're at like 80, and then speed it towards that guy. That's fair. It's probably a good way of going about it. I, uh... I don't know, I usually don't have that many issues with this boss, to be fair. It's not particularly hard, like... But it, it's super it's cool. Anxiety. It's the recording yeah, anxiety, bro. Yeah, no. It is what it is. Can't get it up, I know. Look. Can't get that ring count up. Sonic dick. Like whiskey dick, but worse. Mm -hmm. You embarrass yourself alive. <laughs> yeah. That is what it is. I don't hate to embarrass myself like that. So when you're playing Sonic uh, Sonic CD? Uh, no, I don't know. I like I, I don't know. Just inherently, I wouldn't want to be like a. I don't know. Just sort of a random number, like a 50 year old guy embarrassing myself by. You know, going for younger, younger, younger. Uh, Did it really take us this yeah. long to bring up fucking Ryan Drummond? Cheating I mean, on he's his on wife. the. He's on the. <laughs> if you if you guys didn't notice, Ryan Drummond is. <laughs> we're actually <laughs> losing Ryan Drummond's lives, not Sonic. So every single time I die, Ryan Drummond loses another life. He cheated on his wife and got with a girl because she was. It was 2015, so she was 20 at the time. Yeah. That's disgusting. It's, the it's stuff with her, very weird. The stuff with her, I truthfully have not read the full. You uh, you were cutting out Emmy, crazy there. Oh, I'm sorry. You're all good. Uh, the stuff with Emmy Emmy Jones. I have not read the full document, so I don't know, and I'm not gonna comment. Uh, obviously, 
You are still right. cutting out, bro. I think it's God's sign that this is not this is not the time we're playing. Oh my cutting really? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Let it me, is what it is. Which my But uh okay, yeah, no. How about how about now? Yeah, you you're good. You're good. Okay. So, trying this again. Uh yeah, no. What he was doing is weird weird as hell. She was like 20 at the time or 21, just extremely young. Yeah. Like around our age. Which is really weird to think about. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I haven't read the full document about the stuff that the, the stuff about her and other members of the community. So no comment on that. Uh, obviously, it's awful that a lot of that happened. But I think the thing that just stood out to a lot of people was the fact that um, Mr. Sonic Adventure, first video game voice actor of Sonic. Is, what, 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 bro? What it's, happened? It's really weird, and like, it is really, it is unfortunate to see that a lot of the other stuff is just not being talked about. Yeah. Um, but, bro, like, really, Ryan Drummond, dude, cheated on his wife. Like, okay, if it's gonna irreparably change. And like, f kind of fuck the way that uh, the Sonic community is talked about, or talks happen within the Sonic community, especially about voice actors. Because if someone's like, "Dude, my favorite one is Ryan Drummond," dude, I really liked Ryan Drummond. It's gonna be like, "Ah, oh, you like the, you like the guy who cheated on his wife? That's crazy, dude. That's actually nutty." Like, it, I don't know. It's it's just a weird we'll vibe. The, we'll be the Smash community. Don't don't say that. Yeah. I it's mean, it's always like no. Game. It's not worse. Actually, it's not worse. No, definitely Smash not. will never, will never escape that, and they will continue not to. I'm not going to make any further comments. <laughs> on the we're just, we're just going to stop talking about that. There. Yeah. This is a really cool, like, secret for getting Super Sonic. I super fuck with it. I love it. I was playing uh, this and I was like, damn, I kind of like this game more than 2D Mario. This for this section alone. This is so cool. Yeah, isn't it? All right, I'm going to yeah. just start charging towards this motherfucker. What's up? Yo. Oh, I forgot I could fucking press the A button and move faster. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. No, you It's been a minute. There's nothing else like this in the game. Cut me some slack. God so damn it. So what are your thoughts on the uh, current state of the Smash community? Oh, dude. Um, that, uh... Ban whoever. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I actually do watch a decent amount of technicals, just because I think it's. <laughs> Out it like that. I, I, uh, I like his content, bro. I hate to be I, that guy. I oh take. My God, you came that guy. I like his content. I think it's interesting. I think that it's just important to look at every angle, and as much as people will like demonize whoever. Uh, I think that it's just, I don't know, you know, you should look at it, you should look at it side, even if, like, you know, I think you can just, like, don't take everybody's <laughs> points. You, you got muffled again, bro. It's not even cutting what? out, it's just muffling. I don't... It is what it is. <laughs> Life goes on. Oh, that's the end of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. God, that game, that was an experience. That was such a weird sh tonal shift from like last, the Sonic 3 part where we were talking about choir boys getting touched by priests or whatever. Boys get touched by priests? Wait, did we not talk? That was, that must have been something else. That must have been a different conversation I had. <laughs> I'm just reminded of the uh, money switch force too. Sorry, I'm under the table. <laughs> no, you're you're all good. It really adds to the effect, I think. I think it's great. Uh, okay. Um, Here we go. But yeah, I guess uh, next up for me in terms of like Sonic shit, which I don't know there when I'm go. gonna get to it, but either Sonic CD to kind of cap off the the classic series and just call that a day, or um, maybe Adventure. We might just say fuck it and and just move move towards the future. Probably but, do CD. Probably CD. CD is realistically what's gonna happen. Adventure is a big time commitment. Um, that I don't know you if can, I'm ready for. 
you can beat Sonic's story in, as I found out, like an hour. <laughs> yeah, Sonic's story is not bad. Uh, but then I have to get through the rest of them. Be t Tales is short. They're all shorter than Sonic's. Really? Yeah. How many stories are there? There's Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. Six. There's Amy. Six. Okay. That's like, that's... Ah. Compared to the classic game, six hours is, you know, six-ish hours, give or take. Probably more like five, but... Yeah. I don't know. Then you get to play Adventure 2, the one that everybody loves. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I do need to get through these games eventually, or else I'm going to be you a fake Sonic Adventure fan. Too. Yeah, my you, whole life. You need your opinions on it. I need to say mine. True. That is very true. I so, can say them right now, even. No. No. Hide it behind content. I'm actually going to put that on a Patreon, so you have to pay money for it. I say um, two isn't as good as the first one. Oh, you there, blew I said your it. load too early, Ellie. I, dude, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How will I ever be dude. able to make money off this dude, YouTube oh my content? God, this is happening. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, he's still there, by the way. I haven't gotten <laughs> rid of his fucking face. So he's just going to be with us for the credits. God, that wasn't even like associated with that. But then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, Twitter's uh, been an... this happened tonight, by the way. This information this happened, happened tonight. An hour before we started. <laughs> we, were, we were like, oh, I was like, Ellie, do you want to record Sonic tonight? And he was like, sure. And fucking an hour before we start, Ryan Drummond drama comes out. It was like. It was meant to be, but yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see where it goes, where the the future of Sonic takes me. I might, low key, I want to jump around a little bit because I do want to get to Frontiers relatively soon. Um, just because shit's fresh, you know. You could just do like, r like. I actually no. I feel like your big mistake was doing these videos individually. You should have just done a classic video, an adventure video, modern, then Frontiers. Maybe. Yeah. You really screwed the pooch in this one. No, those would be like fucking insane videos, though. That'd be so long. You don't have to play the entire game. You just do like a super cut of the best moments and then like general thoughts. No. <laughs> that's, that's too much work. Nah. Um, but yeah, that's Sonic 3. And, uh, we'll, we'll do some other shit sometime. Catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs> God, I'm fucking good at what I do. Goodbye. Sleep tight, Ryan Drummond. You sweet prince. Go cheat on your wife again. Bye. <laughs>